So we are in uh, feature engineering. In feature engineering, we are doing feature selection. To do the feature feature selection, if both variables are continuous, we can use a z test. Uh, if both variables are continuous and your sample test, if you have a limited sample, then you can go for the t test. Or and uh, if your target variable is continuous and uh, your uh, your feature is a two level categorical variable or binomial uh, binomial or dichotomous or binary variable in that case you can go for the two way sample test again you can go for the t test so we have done with z test and we have done with t test and if both the variables like your target variable and uh, and your uh, feature both are categorical then you can directly get into the chi square test but there is one more complication the complication this time is if your target variable is continuous and your feature is categorical not two nominal not binomial if it is multinomial if you have multi levels if you have multi categories if you have multi classes if you have multi labels then you can't use t test you cannot use chi square test of course you can't use z test we need to have someone someone has to come for our rescue that's anova that's f test so taking the help of anova f test is going to come for our rescue and f test is going to do the statistical significance test if you have a target variable which is a continuous and your projector or features as uh, nominals or categorical variables which are multinomials okay so ANOVA is a statistical uh, procedure used to compare the means of two or more groups. It assesses uh, the variability between the groups and within the groups to determine if there are significant differences among the means. So ANOVA provides an F-test statistic to evaluate the significance of the observed differences. So in ANOVA, the F-test compares the variances between the groups and the variances within the groups uh, in regression analysis the f test is used to assess and the overall significance of the re regression model the, this whatever we have discussed in summary everything has everything will be uh, everything will be digged in depth compared to uh, now when you have to work on uh, two samples or uh, two populations uh, at a time or maybe in regression analysis and all these kind of things it's very much important that's called our f distribution so first we will look into the history and evolution of the f distribution in statistical analysis so the f distribution was first introduced uh, by sir ronald fisher in 1924 uh, as a tool for statistical inference in analysis of variance ANOVA A -N -O -V -A, ANOVA the ANOVA technique was developed uh, by Fisher to test the hypothesis that several population means are equal based on a set of sample means so the F distribution was uh, later used extensively in the field of uh, quality control where it was used to compare the variances of two uh, different samples it was also used uh, in the design of experiments uh, where it was used to determine the optimal sample size and uh, the number of uh, replicates uh, required to achieve a desired level of statistical power. So over time, F distribution was, uh, it has been applied to a wide range of statistical problems including hypothesis testing, regression analysis, and the comparison of uh, treatment effects in uh, clinical uh, trials it has also been used in the development of statistical models for data analysis such as uh, the analysis of variance models and in the estimation of uh, parameters in statistical models so in recent years the distribution has been used extensively 
in the field of machine learning where uh, it, it, it's used to evaluate the performance of classification models and to compare the accuracy of different models. So it has also been used in the development of uh, feature selection algorithms where it's uh, used to identify the most important features in a data set. So overall, the F distribution has become an important tool in statistical analysis and has continued and 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 uh, and has continued to contribute significantly to the development of uh, modern statistical theory and uh, methods